feel different than the last time? Yes. Let's make sure you're nice and numb. Feel anything? No. Okay, how about up here? Perfect. There we go. Now, do you guys have any questions about how to take care of this once you're done? I know it's your second yeah. round. Yeah. Okay. You let me know if you feel anything, Hunter. Yeah. Well, we are removing a painful ingrown toenail. I just freed up the nail plate to make it nice and loose so we can gently put our little nippers in there and get just the piece that's ingrown. So it'll be a perfect, pretty little nail when we're done. <laughs> so this is what we're looking at. The thing is, is a lot of that is underneath the skin. So a lot of people come in and say, is my toenail ingrown? Well, I don't know, does it hurt? <laughs> if it doesn't hurt, you're probably okay. But once you kind of see this swelling, you can't see it right now, but there's a little bit of redness. Let's make sure there's nothing in there, all clear. All right, ingrown's out. Let's just put our medicine on so it does not return. So Dr. Frails, in what case would it be appropriate to do bathroom surgery? <laughs> um, That's a great question. Que a great question. Uh, really never, because the most time I find that people mess things up and they've kind of been digging at it for a while, it gets infected quite often with that too. Because whatever instruments, not necessarily they're, they're not sterilizing them, but after they dig in there, they create an opening to the skin which allows bacteria to get in because you know we never wash our shoes. That's where bacteria and fungus live. Usually about 90 seconds to numb somebody up. Once they're numb, they don't feel anything. So they can kind of dig on there for months, years. So the longest ingrown toenail I've had someone work on themselves is probably three years. So how soon can he be back in a shoe? And He's actually gonna go back in a shoe tomorrow. So today's the only day we really have a bulky dressing on, just to eliminate any bleeding through or anything like that. Most of the times it's not too bad, but tomorrow he'll go back into a regular shoe because he's just gonna have a Band-Aid on it with some uh, wound care medication. And then he can go back to normal activity in about two weeks once it heals. Some people heal quicker. There you go. Ta-da, beautiful. <laughs>